Good morning. Hey guys, it's me. Um, I haven't been on here in a while and I have been so busy with school. I've been busy stressing out. Hold on. I need something to hold this. I don't have my tripod. Ah, uh, sorry. I do not have my tripod. Hold on. This shall do. Come on. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Ready for it? Perfect. Actually, this is good. <sighs> yeah. Hey guys, um, so I have been stressing out. Um, mostly, I've been stressing out more than I have been actually doing work. Um, I've just been so depressed and sad and I don't know actually I do know why um, there's a lot of things that are going on right now that gets me to be depressed someone's at the door I'm at work right now give me one second perfect so guys I am back um so let me tell you guys I have been stressing out um, about not being able to focus and do work because lately ever since after the last exam i saw my grades i mean it's not bad i did get an 83 um i was not happy with it i feel like i should be doing more i can do more but i get into this like state of mind where i'm just so sad and it's hard for me to focus and do the work that i need to do to get better grades um and the cycle is repetitive and it's just I, I just want to get myself out of that even even when I sit down and try to do work while I'm in that state I just I, it's not getting done it's like hours go by and I'm just the work's not done and I get depressed about the fact that I spent all these hours and there's nothing done and it's just I guess I need to go get help with that um, I've, I've been trying but it's not I've been trying to go get help with that but it's not a consistent Thing because I feel like I don't have enough time to dedicate to it but it's something that I, I need to work on in order to be successful in this program so cool work like when I feel motivated to do work and at times when I don't feel so motivated to work um, when I return and I, I start reading my books Darby well at school we call her Darby <laughs> we don't really say wash which is not fair because it's wash in Darby's book so, but she's known by Darby in my in my school. I guess m maybe Darby contributed most in most of the work in the book. I don't know, but I we sh I should call her Wash and Darby because it's by two authors, not just one. Um, yeah, every time I go, I come back to my book, I read it and stuff. I feel I feel good. Like I really like what I'm learning. I really I love it. Like I love dental hygiene. I think this was meant for me to do. Um, so that's my other dental hygiene book. Um, that's the Wilkins book, and I love reading about this stuff. Like it motivates me, and I want to learn more so I could help, help my. I want to learn more so I could help my patients get better and. Yeah, it's just, it makes me feel great that I'm doing something that I really love and something that I'm passionate about, something that I can give to people. Um, in this video, I also wanted to thank Jenny, Jennifer. Thank you so much um, for wishing me good luck on the test. I did, I guess, yeah, I did okay. I did, I had an 83. It wasn't what I really wanted, but I guess I didn't work for a better grade. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with it, but I, I want to strive and work harder um, because I was just, I was not happy with the 83, I guess. But thank you um, for wishing me good luck and asking me how I did. I did, I did okay, um, in my opinion. I could have done a lot better had I worked harder. Um, so yeah, and what else did I want to mention? I have an exam coming up on Monday. Um, I'm not too worried about it. It's concepts. Um, I understand it and it makes sense to me. I love it. I like reading about it. I don't mind sitting there and just spending the day reading about it. Um, it's fine. Everything else is everything is doing great. But I just want to talk to you guys about one thing. It's just it's been hard lately. Um, it's just you know when you're striving hard for what you really want to do 
and you're working hard and you just feel like everyone else who does not understand what you're doing, what you're trying to accomplish with your life. Everyone is just against you in a certain way. They're just making it hard. Um, so lately I've just been listening to people who are inspirational, and to people who inspire me, like um, Barack Obama's wife, Michelle Obama. Um, I was, she was um, talking about how like all of these things that um, are making you feel bad while you're going on your journey there's just noise you know they are just noise that are meant to prevent you from reaching your destiny just like block out all this noise that's what i'm trying to do with my being sad all the time i'm not gonna call it depression although i was clinically i was um diagnosed i was i don't think i am i think I'm just going through this stage of being sad because I think of myself as a positive person. I don't think I have depression, but that's what they say, but whatever. Um, I, I just feel like I'm in, the, because I'm in this stage of my life and I just need to fly in a way, I guess that's why I'm depressed, but I don't think I'm depressed. That's what they say. I do think I have, um, like I, I was diagnosed with ADD, so I definitely have that, which is can't concentrate anyway enough about me um i was watching michelle obama and she was just talking she was talking about how we have these obstacles that are in our path these obstacles she refers to as noise and those noises are meant to deter you from achieving your your dream so you just have to like turn it out like focus on your dream and just like turn out all the noise and you'll get there just keep on pushing every day. This is, those are my best friends, <laughs> guys. I don't have friends. Those are my best friends. So I stick to them and I read. <sighs> they inspire me. They enrich me. I have, like, whenever I read them, I feel knowledgeable and I feel strong. So I stick with them whenever I feel sad. I read them. Even though, even though sometimes it's hard to read when you're, feeling um, so sad and depressed, um, I try to kick those out of my head and, you know, just carry on with with Esther Wilkins and Walsh, which is, I think it's Michelle um, Darby and Margaret Walsh. Michelle Leonardi Darby and Margaret Walsh. Yeah. They're very, they're very helpful. They make me feel strong when I feel weak, when I feel um, unconfident in myself, when I don't have the confidence to just be like, yeah, I'm going to be a great hygienist because I know, I know my stuff. So it's been helping. So, all right, guys. Bye. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Every time I take a break from doing so much, how would I say that? Like, every time I take a break from doing a lot of work, 